MLB the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Tampa Bay Rays and the New York Yankees. It's Yankees baseball and it comes your way next. Jordan Montgomery is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. He will lead this one off today. Here's the first pitch to him. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. First pitch, 107. Barely able to make contact, down 0 2 now. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. And Duhar retreats to the outfield grass, and he has it for round number one. That exception, the dedicated hitter, Jose Martinez. Striding in, Jose Martinez. Last night was a good one for him as he turned in a four for five effort. First pitch coming, here it is. And that fastball's taken but catches the outer third. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused in playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. Two balls and a strike to count. All in all, a great afternoon for baseball. 73 degrees here at first pitch. The 2-1. It's laid off of for ball number three. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Hit on the ground out to short. Torres scoops it up. Throw on to first, two gone. Well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time. And that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. So striding in, Austin Meadows. He enters play sixth in the American League in the batting race. What a terrific season this guy's having. Up near the leaders in batting average, without a doubt the highest average and the best hitter on this team. Now here's the pitch. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Ed Drummond. Yeah, Maddie, we got a good one behind the dish today in Ed Drummond. Well liked by all people, pitchers, batters, managers. All you want as a player is the ability to talk to someone. And that's what Ed does. He gives you that chance. Zero, you hit the nail right on the head. He has a real long fuse. He's not afraid to let a hitter or a pitcher, I'm not going to say complain about a particular pitch, but he's not. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Down in order go the Rays. Tampa Bay nothing. Yankees coming up. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Blake Snell, the southpaw out of the state of Washington, will be the starter. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, so far this year, this guy hasn't pitched very well on the road. He's actually struggled on the road, so it'll be interesting to see if he can turn that around here in this one. So striding forward now, Brett Gardner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. 
the center fielder, Brett Gardner. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And that misses ball one. And guys, the Rays, as they begin play here this afternoon, they've been in a nice little groove, winning three of their last four games. Yeah, Matty, I'm, I, I've been really impressed with this team, especially on the recent road trip to start to it. They're three and one after four games, playing really fundamentally sound baseball from offense to defense pitching. It's all coming together for this group. Now the one and one pitch. Lined into left center. And Gardner's going to reach. It's a base hit. Hey, this game's starting off exactly the way they want it to. Lead off single in the bottom of the first after their pitcher went out there and threw a donut on the board. Boys are flying around. Here's Miguel Andujar now. Pitch outside. The throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. You might say that that steal is on the catcher because the pitcher was so quick to the plate with his delivery, but I think the credit has to go to the base runner. Great jump, and he really showed off his speed there. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. When hitters are able to lay off curveballs and get themselves into good counts because of it, you're in pretty big trouble as a pitcher. A lot of guys rely on their opponents offering at that pitch, even when it's not in a good location to hit. Previous history with Blake Snell, not great, and he's one for eight. Gardner stands at second with no outs. Hit out towards second. He's got it. Throws in time, and that's out number one. That is good. The right fielder, Aaron Judge. Here's big Aaron Judge. A good opportunity for him to add to his season RBI total here, which currently sits as third best in the American League. Well, big-time power threats like him tend to rack up a lot of RBIs. He's also way up there on the home run leaderboard. First delivery to him on the way. The man at third with one away. A ball and a strike. Ball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. Popped him up. Adamas shading to his right. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Got it for the left fielder, John Carlo. Next for New York, Giancarlo Stanton trying to cash in here in his first at bat with a runner at third and two gone. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. First pitch curveball swung on and missed. Strike one. Men on third with two down. And it's one and one. off lucky he got a piece right there he was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch the set and the one two, two, ball, two strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders side retired one left for the Yankees. We are still scoreless. Bye. 
So digging in now, Hunter Renfro took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. First offering on its way. Good off-speed pitch had him out in front for strike one. Fouled away. Renfro, once a member of the San Diego Padres organization, he was acquired via trade last year. I know he tell you he'd like to be playing a little bit better, but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now. I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected. Throw on to first is in time to get him, so that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for out number one. Yandy. And that'll bring in Yandy Diaz. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. First pitch is a breaking ball taken down and away for ball one. No score here as we play inning number two. Changeup stays outside and he's behind 2-0. Three and oh now. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt. I expect him to mix it up. Nope. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. Ball four. That is fifth. The second baseman. Number eight. Stepping in, Brandon Lau. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. As a look, now the pitch. Yeah. yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Nope. Down and away, ball one. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Now that's when you know it's a good pitch. He broke off a really nice breaking ball down in the zone right there. And even though this is one of the best hitters around, he waved right through it. The one two he is swung on and missed strike three. Boy, he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday, and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. G-Man Choi, the next to hit. Speared on the dive. He's up with it, the throw. It's there, and he's out. Another look at the fine play at first that concludes matters here in the inning. More from the show, Saturday Baseball, following this message and a word from our local stations. Now in the box, Gary Sanchez, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Sanchez. Here comes the first pitch. Count one and oh. Now the one and one pitch. Hey. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Batting strip. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Fastball in there for a called strike.
Bottom of the second here with no score. Ooh, back to back tough pitches, and he's down 0 2 now. Hey, I love the aggressive nature this guy's pitching with. He's got focus, he's commanding the fastball, really being aggressive right now. A lot different than his last start where he took a loss and seemed timid and scared to attack the zone. Oni pops it up. Choi. In foul ground. He's got it, and there are two down now. Batting set. Not shortstop. Waver. Soren. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder, Glaber Torres. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, that's low. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. The 1-1. One, one. Two balls, one strike, the count. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Now the 2-1. And it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Now the pitch. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. We'll move to the third with no score. Welcome back to the Bronx, where these fans have witnessed a lot of good pitching from their Yankees this season. Coming into the day, they rank first in the league in both ERA and strikeouts, a combination that has opposing lineups searching for answers. One member of the staff told me, it's a special group of guys. I've never been on a pitching staff that's so dominant top to bottom, and I've been on some pretty good ones. Now, one of the hitters on the team told me, I'm relieved I get to stand behind them and play defense instead of staring them down in the box. That can't be fun. Matt, back to you. Thank you, Heidi. Now here's the pitch. First pitch of the nope. inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1 and 0. Oh. Grounded back up the middle and the Rays are in the hit column. There's a hard hit ground ball pitcher not able to get a glove on it hard single up the middle. Yeah watch your lips right there Dan mm -hmm. sent it back right where it came from. So here's Mike Zanino as he'll take a look at the pitch too low it's ball one. As a look, now the pitch. 2 and 0 now. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning. Because if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate. And that usually means damage done. Outside, 3 and 0 now. This inning hasn't started ideally for him on the mound, but here on 3 and 0, you have to have the mentality that you're only a strike and or a ground ball double play away from getting back on track. That one's in there. Three and one. Nobody out. Runner on first. Okay. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him.
And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Huge innings have begun with much less. I can tell you that. First and second, no out. And the guy on the bump really needs a strikeout or a double play right here. Back to the top of the order now. And that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A ball and no strikes. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Kiermeyer is slugging just a little over 400. Not a huge threat, but he can certainly square one up on occasion. 1 0 pitch. Swing and a miss, 1 and 1. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Now the one and one pitch. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. First and second here with nobody out. He's fallen behind now, three and one. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts, you can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. Set, here's the three one. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. And that's two free passes in the third inning alone. So you have to wonder if maybe it's something mechanical or if it's just psychological. Got to get back on track here. Standing in now with runners in scoring position, Jose Martinez. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pitcher on the mound has to find a way to minimize damage right here. Got to believe he's willing to trade two outs for a run. Oh, and one, here it comes. Just way too patient in this situation. With the bases loaded like this, this is your chance to be the hero. Oh, and two, here it comes. Hey, this is a monster strikeout situation right here. A double play would be great in this situation, but I know he's going for the K. You get a one-two count on a guy, he's going to throw his nastiest stuff. Slap hard the opposite way. Judge is there. Let's see if they try it. And with only one away, no need to test it as he'll hold tight at third base. Now batting, right fielder, Austin Meadows. Digging in for his second at bat, Austin Meadows. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And he can't allow the same thing to happen in this situation. This is a big time spot in this game. He's got to find a way to put the ball in play. Strike one to start the at bat. Ready with the 0 1. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0 2. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back-to-back -back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Austin Meadows is out number two here in the third inning. Into the box, Hunter Renfro. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. And a golden opportunity here to give his guys the lead with three men aboard. A 
little quick on that swing and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. No balls, two strikes. And he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. More of the show, Saturday baseball, after this. Digging in now for the Yankees, Gio Urshela having a very nice year, currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. First delivery to him on the way. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. And he fouls this one off. Stays alive, still 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. You know, I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored looking or swinging. He tried to check his swing, but I'm pretty sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless. At the plate, Luke Voigt. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. A dozen home runs, 26 RBIs. The wind up and the 0 1. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. The 2 1. This is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. Now he back. looks really sharp Most out there, guys. Brett Gardner. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. One for one after a single his first time up. Ani ah, takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings, and this team up there, they'd Whoa, swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lots of swings, lots of misses, a lot of ugly at-bats for this team right now. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Stepping up now, Yandy Diaz. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Fouled off. Ah, 
gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone one and two still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning Dan does this continue or does somebody score here. Oh you have to love it. you know Matt we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8 it's nice to see a low scoring pitchers duel for once and this will get through into left for a leadoff hit. We take a look at the numbers up to this point you see he's only given up two hits so far today so he's been hitting his spots all game long remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward but I'm not betting against him. At the plate now Brandon Lau as he'll take a look at ball one 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One oh he is swung on and missed in that strike one. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Here's a fly ball, well hit. Judge is going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And this throw gets away from him. Now batter, the first base. He man. One out here in the Tampa Bay fourth and that brings up the corner infielder G man Choi. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Choi, a six foot one inch left handed hitter, but throws right handed. He was taken in the second round back in the 2015 MLB draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. The one two. <laughs> and that misses, so it's a full count three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four, anyways. And a fastball blew it right by him and they're two down. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And whoa look at that for a top speed 98 miles an hour. That man is flat dealing. Ready for another chance Willie Adamas a base hit in his first trip. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ball, that's off awesome. the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. No runs, two hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. To the left side, but it's well foul. The 1-1 one, one home is swung on and missed for strike number two. Classic case of the front shoulder flying open on that off speed. Needs to stay compact and stay in the big part of the field. One and two, here it comes. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. And he misses this one inside and that'll run things full three and two. Good running count right here. Three balls two strikes two outs runner on first. 
he'll be off to the races on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs. And now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Here now is Mike Zanino. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. After the walk and with runners on the bags, he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. Two men are on with two men out. Oh, and he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0 and 2. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk, coming right after him here. Hit to third. Andujar's got it. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Ray strand a pair. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First pitch coming. Here it is. Andujar. Tends to exploit left-handed pitching. Many hitters are better against opposite-handed arms, of course, but he's considered one of the best hitters in baseball in these types of matchups. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Fouled away. Swing and a miss. Five straight strikeouts now, and there's one gone. Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on the mound right now. That's five straight punch outs. I love it, but I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. As he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Fastball misses inside. It's even at 1. And he misses 2 and 1. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch. And it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. The 2-2. Two -two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. No better way to minimize the potential damage a cleanup hitter can do than to strike out both guys in front of him. Always a confidence boost when you can sit down the guys at the top of the lineup. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. 
And the inning is going to continue here as he reaches on an infield single. Now that Yeah, nobody on right there, Dan. Two outs. It's not every day you see a guy pick him up and put him down like him getting down to first base right there. Bought himself a base hit. Well, I tell you what, if you there's a couple of things you can do. It doesn't take a lot of talent to hustle, and it doesn't take talent to be on time. And he hustled out of the box, turned what could have been a, a ground out to end the inning into an infield single. As a look, now the pitch. Slow roller down the third baseline. And he'll smartly just ensure that this stays a foul ball. This is why pitching is so difficult. You're cruising along to give up a hit. Now you've got to lock in and get this middle part of the order done. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. Boom goes the dynamite. A two-run home run off the bat of Gary Sanchez. Home run number 16 for him on the year, and this is now a 2 to nothing lead for the Yankees. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. The 1-0. Oh, and he goes the other way, and he drives it out to deep right center field. Boom goes the dynamite. Solo shot to right center. Third home run for him on the year as the Yankees move out to a 3 to nothing lead. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. That'll bring up Glaber Torres. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Here's one fouled off to the right as the count evens at one and one. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed, then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's three and one now. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. into his motion here comes the three and one nope. there's ball four looked like he might have gotten squeezed a little bit right there and you know he's talking to himself in his head about it that kind of stuff goes both ways though hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them too Next will be the designated hitter Gio Urshela comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. 
And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in his own he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Now the 2 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. When the pitcher on the mound's establishing this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. Hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. We played four full. It's the Yankees three, the Rays nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He cited the four walks they've earned already as evidence that his guys are waiting for the right pitch and that they're willing to let the opposition work themselves into trouble. So far, that's paying off. Thank you, Heidi. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. Kevin Kiermeyer. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch. Good curveball there gets the swing and miss. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Count twenty one. Two balls, one strike. Ball inside. Great AB up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. The three one. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. To the plate now for the Rays is the DH, Jose Martinez. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. No runs, two hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. That one misses badly. It's ball two. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. Hey, sometimes you just got to tip your cap right there. You execute a nice pitch down in the zone, think you're going to get a ground ball or a swing and a miss, and you find yourself with a man on first. Got to regroup. To the plate now, Austin Meadows. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't.
the 1-0. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. From the belt kicks and deals. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Wow that's the case right there where a pitcher knows this now guy's up there and he's in swing it. mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone and he still swung at it. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll head to the dugout after working just four and a third. Not enough to qualify for the victory as his bullpen will have to go a long way to hang on to the lead. Luis Sessa takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Luis. In now, Hunter Renfro, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The one pitch. Now the double steal is on here. Mitch misses low. The throw down. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. The one-one home is a slider taken for a ball couple strikeouts early in the game but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitters count he's fallen behind now three and one at a good spot to be in right now pitchers fall behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position And it's fouled away. Now the three and two pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Stanton has a read on it. He's there to make the catch and here comes the runner from third as this should get him on the board. And they are on the board. It's a sack fly and an RBI to make this a three to one game now. In now, Yandy Diaz. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Two out here and a runner at second. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. From the stretch, slow roller out to short. Torres picks it up. Throw on to Boyd, takes care of him, and the inning is over. Rays will settle for just the one. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Yankees three, the Rays one. Now at the plate, Luke Voigt. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope. And he That's takes cool. ball one. Action in the Rays' pen now as they've got a lefty and a right hander up and throwing. Yeah. 
The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Drilled on the ground to short. Adamas brings it in. And there's one away. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. Back to the top of the order now. And up next, the left handed hitting Brett Gardner. First offering on its way. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he fouls this one off. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Fouled off. This is pulled into right. Meadows is there, two down. Now batting, the third baseman. Miguel. So bases are empty here with two gone. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. First pitch of the at bat. And he lays off there, 1 0. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here, middle of the order guys coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 0 now. Hey. Two balls and a strike. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Hey. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. Fouled away. He's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. As the lead remains, three to one. Up next for the Rays, Brandon Lau. He struck out and flied out, 0 for 2 so far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Ball one to start the at bat. The 1 0 home. Sessa. The native of Mexico is a five year vet at the major league level. Now the 2 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. To 2 and 2 now. Hey, he's got excellent stuff working right now. Somebody has to make an adjustment. You're seeing a lot of late swings. No one's getting the front foot down. No one's getting the barrel to the baseball. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. Now the payoff pitch home. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Count remains full. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at bat. Hit sharply on the ground. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. 
Dan, how frustrating that must be. Eight pitch at bat, and he's able to bat. work a base hit. The hero, he threw everything yeah. but the kitchen sink yeah. at him. He threw off-speed pitches, fastballs, and on the eighth pitch, left one out over the plate. Just enough for a base hit. So now to the plate, G-Man Choi. Oh, okay. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. One out count. Here it is. Rolled slowly down the first baseline, right to him, and he won't even try it at second as he flips to the pitcher covering to get the shoer out. The bat number one, shortstop Willie Adamo. Runner at second, one away, and up next will be Willie Adamas. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Owen won the count. Hits are now even at four apiece. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Ready with the 0 2. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. Hit out towards second. LeMayhew's got it, and that's the second out. Now that catcher. So a runner at third, two men are out, and that'll bring up the catcher, Mike Zanino. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hey, I don't have a problem with him taking a pitch right there. It's a good opportunity to see what he's got. Also, a good opportunity to see if he's going to be pounding the strike zone. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Goodness, 0-2 now. Have to find a way to take a deep breath right here and regroup. I know the umpire missed one, but you can't allow the next couple of pitches to be dictated by one bad call. Find a way. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. One left for Tampa. They still trail it here 3-1. to one. Trevor Richards enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. For Tampa Bay, number 34, Trevor Richards. Now at the plate, Aaron Judge. He's set to start it out for the Yanks here in the sixth. The right fielder, Aaron Judge. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Counts one and oh. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. Swing and a miss on the heater, and it's two and one. And oh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2 2. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count 3 2. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Aaron Judge becomes the first out in the bottom of the sixth inning. Giancarlo Stanton now. As he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. The 
one one. It's a fastball that misses. Oh, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey, that's the life of an umpire. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. High in the air out towards shallow right. Meadows will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. Now batting, catcher, Gary. Gary Sanchez will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. Outfield shaded a bit to left center the first pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Kiermaier on the run. He's there to make the play and that'll retire the side. So the Yanks go one two three and it's still three to one. Zach Britton is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 53. Leading off the inning, Kevin Kiermeyer, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan of bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. No balls in one strike. Comes set and the 0 1. It's taken for a ball as that slider broke off the plate. Into the corner and slicing foul. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Standing in now, Jose Martinez. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Now the 1 0. Misses, ball two. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Here it comes, 2 0. Mm, pretty good cut there, but it's the two and one now. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Sinker misses, ball four. The hitter was dug in looking for something to hit, but he would have needed a telephone pole to hit that thing way out of the zone. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Austin Meadows. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. First pitch coming, here it is. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Meadows has a batting line residing in the 290s, looking to boost that even higher here. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. What a nasty pitch right there. 
batter thought it was going to hit him and it ends up breaking into the zone for a strike. Hot shot down the line. But a foul ball and the count holds it 0-2. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. 3-1 our score. And he fouls this one off. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Ball Misses. Two. Ball two. Two and two. The 2-2. Two -two. Wow, from 0-2 to 3-2 and in that last pitch on 2-2 two two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Pitch popped up. Sanchez has a play. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. The left fielder, Chad the left Green will get the ball here as he looks to get the Green. final out in the top Your of the seven. Please. Now pitching for the New York Yankees, number 57, Chad Green. Hunter Renfro will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. From the belt, the pitch. Ball. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Here comes the 1-0. -oh. Inside, ball two. Runner on first with two away. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Now that is the third baseman. So coming to the plate, Yandy Diaz. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Into right field. That's a base hit. Nothing fires me up more than watching an offensive player stay inside a baseball and drive it the other way. Digging in and looking for more, Brandon Lau. He's got the bases loaded now and a chance to really do some damage. And he's one of those guys that they really rely on to come through in spots like this, Matt. Second on the team and runs batted in. Here's the first pitch to him. Clearly, this is a tough situation to be on the mound, but the key here is minimizing. They're up by two, so if he could find a way to get out of this bases loaded jam by only giving up one run, that would be clutch. He sent the 0 1. Fouled off. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. 
Fine work there out of the Yankee bullpen. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. The Yankees lead it three to one. Trying to pick things up where we left off. DJ LeMayhew. He'll start things out here in the bottom of inning number seven. Hey, in the last at bat when he hit that home run on an off speed pitch, he didn't really crush it, but he certainly hit it well enough to drive it out of the ballpark. Upper part of the zone there, but taken for a strike. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. Right fielder is on the run, but this will land untouched. The next 0 2. Misses for ball one. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. The 2 2. Bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first in time, one away. Up next for the Yankees. Not shortstop. Waver. Go red. Digging in, Torres. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Tried to check it in its 0 and 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Oh. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it two and two. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Scorched to third, and just past his outstretched glove into left, a base hit. Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he didn't come out of his he didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day, Dan. Kept the front shoulder tough, kept the ice water in his veins, and didn't try and get too big. Extends the hitting streak. Nice job. You know, D Row, I talked to him before the game about the streak, and he said the toughest part is he hopes to get hits early in the game to take the pressure off. He had to wait to the seventh inning in this one to come through. Kiermaier is there now, and he has it to gone. Now back, first baseman, Luke Boyd. Coming to the plate now, Luke Boyd. No hits to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Winging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Lined hard toward right center, and this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. 
This guy just feasts on mistakes up in the zone, and, and that's exactly what he gets right here. A belt-high pitch, he drives into the alley. Great chance now with two runners in scoring position. Digging in, Brett Gardner hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next A-B. He's set. Here it comes. He set the 0 1. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. That gets down as one run is in. Yeah, nowadays the number crunchers would call that a high leverage at bat. Not exactly sure what that means, but what I do know is they just doubled their lead, so he clutched up big time right there. Into the box now, Miguel Andujar, as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0-1. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And he will crash into the wall, but hold on to it there for the final out of the inning. One more look at the final out. A teeth rattler if ever there was one. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local stations. New inning set to get underway. Now at the plate, G-Man Choi. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Here comes the first pitch. In there for strike one, 0-1. Oh Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. A one count. Here's the pitch. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. I try and tell people all the time you're facing 90 to 92, 94. You can still see seams. It starts getting above 94, it starts to blur itself a little bit. You start pitching where this guy's at, you're seeing nothing. You're seeing vapor. Now, a fastball here that'll wisely lay off, and it's 1 and 2. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. He's set, and the one-two pitch. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. Here now the two-two. Can't lose, from 0-2 to 3-2, what a great at-bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Now the payoff pitch home. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Next 3 2. 
is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Into the box, Willie Adamas. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. A hit and two tries for him so far. The 1 0. Two balls, no strike. Two and one. Good luck with that pitch. That pitch is an absolute nightmare. Almost unhittable. Nasty downward action. High 80s velocity. Three and one. On deck, the big bat of Mike Zanino. The three and one pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now that kept it. Nice. Settling in now, Mike Zanino. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Now here it comes. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Gotta love a reliever that comes in firing bullets, and his fastball is a good one. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Five one our score as we play the eighth. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Rays go in order one two three. They're down five to one. Digging in to try it again. Aaron Judge, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. Back outside. The 2 0. Gets him out in front on a good changeup. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. And he missed again, high and away this time. Three and one. Don't go too far. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton gets his shot next. The three and one pitch. Line drive to left. Solid base hit for him, his first of the afternoon. So it's a leadoff base hit to open their half of the eighth. Now batter, the left fielder, John Stanton. Stepping in now, Giancarlo Stanton fouled away. He's working on a one for three thus far.
That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Way outside. Nearly to the backstop. Two and one. Heading out towards shallow right. Meadows moving back. But he won't get there. It falls in. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Hey, pitchers, you better start taking notice of this guy. He better be circled on that lineup part because he's on fire. That's his second hit of the ball game right there, and I don't see him stopping. Diego Castillo comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Plate now, Gary Sanchez, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Chopped to third, tough to get two. The tag gets one on to first, so he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. Now back, second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. Standing in, D.J. LeMayhew, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Oh, that's and action now in the Tampa Bay pen as it looks like a right-hander's begun to get loose. Here's the 1-0. Same pitch that time, the sinker, but it looked like he made a good adjustment with it. Yeah, Matt, that's a great point. Released it from out front much better that time. I just think he wasn't real happy with the first one he threw, so he wanted to get the field back for it. One, two. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. The Yanks leave one. They're up five to one. Ben Heller comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer over two for him to this point. The cover fielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. Now here it comes. Outside for a ball, one and one. Two and one to the Rays' leadoff batter. The two one. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. The batter, the designated hitter, Jose Martinez. Digging in now, Jose Martinez. It was a walk in his last trip. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Oh. 
Starting to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. One out, nobody on. Two balls and a strike. Hit on the ground out to short. Torres has it. Throw to first will be in time, and the Rays are now down to their final out. Now batting the right fielder, Austin Meadows. Stepping into the box, Austin Meadows. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First delivery to him on the way. And that misses one and one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. Tampa down to their final strike in this one. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even clean. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. Five to one, the final total in today's game. The New York Yankees took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Luis Sessa wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.